I was talking to a friend of mine and she's originally from a different country, but she was, she's been here for many years. She was saying just because of the recent news, there's so much news about, you know, the elections coming up and the impeachment hearings and, you know, that there's such a divided nation and how do we become so divided, et cetera, et cetera. And I said, well, that's, that's a good thing because that shows us that we're a capitalistic society. We're not run by a dictator. I've been in a lot of countries that are raised, run by dictatorships. And there's no division like you see here because there's no freedom of speech. You don't hear the opinions. People suppress their opinions. They don't verbalize it because they're in fear. They will be called on. They'll be arrested. They'll be beaten. They'll be murdered. Their family will be murdered. And so people won't voice their opinions. So from the outside, it looks like, wow, what a great nation this country is. And they're ran by this dictator and see nobody's nobody's protesting. Well, they're not protesting because you get arrested and you're probably going to die if you protest. Oh, they don't they don't have any uh, controversial news where one party's fighting against another party. I'm like, yeah, that's because it's pretty much centrally controlled party by the government. And you either agree with them or you're dead or at fear of your life or you're not going to be having the same opportunities in that country as another place. So my response was, I'm excited to see a division in America. I'm excited to see separations of people's opinion. Um, I like to see the arguing because everybody has their own opinion. And I'm okay with all of that. That that should not that should not be a campaign strategy. Oh, we need to unite. Well, we're already the United States of America. So that's already said and done. What do we need to unite about? Why don't you say, hey, the, those who have this opinion and want to work on this issue, let's unite over here and do our thing. Kind of like you have on, um, you know, you go to any social media network and there's a group for everything. You know, you're invited to like this group and like that group and join our group and join us for this and that. Great. I don't have to just because I don't go to every single group or like every group doesn't mean there's an issue. That's a good thing. You know, I'm going to find the stuff I have time for and, and that I'm more passionate about than another person. So anyway, that's a good thing. <laughs> Same uh, just the day before we had another issue where somebody was talking about um, the fact that, oh, the impeachments, you know, should be finished by now. And, you know, don't you agree on this, this, this? I said, well, first of all, the impeachment's not over. Let's 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 finish the presentation and then let's see what the real facts are not what somebody said that somebody said that somebody said and then he starts talking to me about well you know you know he cheated on his wife and blah blah blah. i said that's not what the impeachment's about but i don't agree that he cheated on his wife and i didn't vote for him and that's why i didn't vote for bill clinton did you vote for did you vote for bill clinton i asked the guy because he's making such a big deal about um the affair part oh yeah i did I'm like, well, he, how many people did, let's count the number of people that were factual that he raped, how many people he abused, how many, how many times he'd been caught, you know, taking public taxpayers money and taking care of these uh, leisure trips. And he's like, well, I didn't know about all that when I voted for him. But the reality of it is, you know, he voted for him twice. And, you know, I think people in freaking the Antarctica <laughs> knew what was going on. So if you don't, if you're going to stand on one opinion and you want to you want to complain about one party about what an issue whether it's bribery or you know influence in you know elections or whether it's you know having affairs that's okay but have the same opinion for your own party if your own party people are doing the same thing why the hell are you voting for them so you just need to stop being up and down and don't be hypocritical either say, hey, it's okay to murder kids and be consistent across the board. Or, hey, it's not okay to murder kids and be consistent across that board. Hey, it's okay to bribe, so I'm going to vote for people that bribe. Or it's not gonna okay to bribe, but be consistent whether you vote Democrat, Republican, parties, whatever. you know. And then another thing that was brought up, he said later on, he said, well, that's because you're conservative, blah, blah. I'm like, conservative has to do with what's right do the, doing the right thing doing the the thing that's most valuable and safe and protective to the most masses of people that's what conservative is so when you say oh he's conservative or she's conservative that you're complimenting them why would you not want to be conservative you want to be a particular party why don't you be a conservative democrat why don't you be a conservative well, why don't you just say hey it's it's more conservative to add a safety net here it's it's more conservative to put a car seat in the back of my car you know, I mean, that's being conservative. So for you to say, oh, you're not conservative. I'm like, why would I want to be liberal? Why would, I, why, would, why would I want to say, hey, let's just put our kids in the back and let them bounce around because I don't care about this, that, or the other. And it's my opinion and it's my right to choose and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, we got laws and there's consequences of that. But 
why would I want to put my kids at risk? Why wouldn't I want to be conservative about the majority of issues out there in the world? So think about it.